This is a historic day for the city of Chicago, and it's an incredible honor. I want to begin by thanking the President and the First Lady for choosing to build the library in their hometown, the city of Chicago. When we break ground on the President's library, it will be a groundbreaking moment for the city of Chicago and all the residents of the South Side. This is where President Obama's journey began in public life. He got his start as a young community organizer, providing a voice to the people who lacked economic and political power, and is also where he found his voice. He walked these streets, knocked on these doors, and believed in the audacity of hope. His journey began on the South Side, and now we know that it will come full circle with his library coming home to the South Side of Chicago. The library will catalog the past, but it will also be a catalyst to the future. There are many, many people who deserve thanks. First, I want to thank Marty Nesbitt and everyone in the foundation for working with the city of Chicago. We started, Marty and I started this process with a full head of black hair, and today we are nothing but salt. <laughs> but I think we both can say when we said we were going to move heaven and earth to get the President's Library to Chicago, there were times we felt like we were moving heaven and earth to get the President's Library here to the city of Chicago. I also want to thank President Zimmer and his entire team at the University of Chicago for an incredible partnership in this effort. Thank you. And it has truly been a collaborative effort between so many different entities, from the University of Chicago to the aldermen of the city council, who, a number of them are here, Alderman Burns, Alderman Cochran, Alderman Dowell, and Alderman Moore, City Treasurer Kurt Summers, Congressman Bobby Rush, the Cultural Affairs Department of the City of Chicago, and the Park District, and all the community leaders who work day and night on this effort. I also want to thank and take a moment to thank Speaker Madigan, Senator Cullerton, for the moment I left the Oval Office the other day and their dedication and delivery in moving uh, legislation in Springfield with uh, Springfield speed. Uh, I have a pension issue I'd like to talk to them about with that speed too. <laughs> the other thing I also want to say, most importantly to the residents of the city of Chicago who made this effort and made this a reality. The reason the library is coming to the city of Chicago is because we came together, not as different communities, but as one city with a common purpose. To all of the residents, from every resident in every community who stood up, who spoke out, and made it their mission to make this day possible, on behalf of the entire city of Chicago, thank you. The President's Library will be a groundbreaking for economic value. It will have in terms of the job creation and the investment that will come with it. It will be groundbreaking for the education of a value it will have as a place for children to learn from Chicago's, about Chicago's history and America's history. They will be able to walk the halls and see the exhibits and be inspired to embark on their own journey in the same place that President Obama embarked on his journey. And it will be groundbreaking as one of the most important cultural jewels of the city of Chicago. It will bring countless visitors from around the country and around the globe to see the most American of American cities and the possibility and the audacity of hope. This day has been a long time coming, and over the past few days it has become the worst kept secret in the city of Chicago. <laughs> But today, we can finally say the words that all of Chicago has been waiting to hear. The Obama Presidential Library is coming home to the city of Chicago. Thank you again to everyone who made this day possible. It is now my uh, distinct honor to introduce a good friend. And somebody is a good friend not only for me, but to the city of Chicago, most importantly, a good friend to the president, Marty Nesbitt. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, as Ram said, I am Marty Nesbitt, and I'm honored to be the chairman of the Barack Obama Foundation. 
but even a greater, uh, honored even greater to be uh, the president's friend. Uh, Barack and I became friends uh, playing basketball uh, and later raising our children on the south side of Chicago. Uh, he'd been born in, in Hawaii and attended college on the East Coast, but Chicago was really he, where he really found his home and his calling. Barack and Michelle fell in love here, started their family here, and began a movement here that would take them all the way to the White House. They could have made their home anywhere, but they chose Chicago, a city that represents the best of America, diverse, hardworking, entrepreneurial, and dedicated to creating a better future for the next generation. So today, it is my privilege to announce that the Obamas have once again chosen Chicago as a future home of the Barack Obama Presidential Center. The center will include the Barack Obama Presidential Library and Museum, as well as office and activity space for the foundation. I want to thank, thank the University of Chicago, the University of Illinois, Chicago, the University of Hawaii, and Columbia University for their submissions. We were impressed by the quality of each proposal, and as a result, today also marks the beginning of the foundation's future collaboration with these institutions, as well as many others in the future. The foundation intends to maintain a presence at Columbia University for the purpose of exploring developing and developing opportunities for a long-term association. Additionally, the foundation will work with the state of Hawaii to establish a lasting presence in Honolulu. Within Chicago, in addition to its association with the University of Chicago, the foundation also plans to collaborate with the University of Illinois Chicago. I also want to acknowledge and express my appreciation for every institution that participated in this process and expressed an interest in carrying forward the president's legacy. Ultimately, Barack and Michelle decided to return to their roots on the city's south side, the same streets where a young community organizer once inspired his community to take action will serve as the home base for a foundation that will organize and inspire people of all backgrounds and beliefs to better their communities, their country, and their world. Barack and Michelle have so much more to do in the White House and beyond, and we are excited to be creating a platform for their future work. Our goal will be to create a facility that will exist not merely as a testament to the President's and First Lady's legacies, but also as a dynamic, vibrant forum for civic participation, education, action, and progress. We are especially looking forward to engaging with the vibrant Southside community in the years to come. The Foundation will continue the President's tradition of utilizing cutting-edge technology and grassroots involvement to engage the next generation of young leaders. We will seek to convene the brightest minds with the newest ideas from across the political spectrum and to draw strength from the rich diversity and vitality of this city we will call home. Most of all, the foundation will ask all of us to take on big challenges and work to meet them together. I wanna to close by offering a heartfelt thank you to Mayor Emanuel who began working diligently to make this happen long before anybody was watching. I admire his steadfast and genuine commitment to this city. It's, it's remarkable. And also, thank you to the University of Chicago President Bob Zimmer, his Board of Trustees, and the rest of his team. Throughout this process, Bob's top priority remained the Southside community. His commitment to improve the community where the university resides is admirable and should be lauded. And finally, to the foundation staff led by Robin Cohen and the foundation's board of directors. Robin and her team have worked tirelessly throughout this progress and for that I owe them a debt of gratitude. We are looking forward to working with the city, the University of Chicago, and the Southside community to make this ambitious and exciting project a reality. And now I'll turn it over to President Zimmer from the University of Chicago. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Marty. Uh, I'm so pleased to be here on this wonderful day for the city of Chicago and what is a truly watershed moment for Chicago's South Side. That I am standing here with Rahm Emanuel, the mayor of Chicago, Marty Nesbitt, the head of the Barack Obama Foundation, and Carol Adams, a great community leader of the South Side, 
is a reflection of the deep and essential partnerships that made this day possible. Without the work and commitment of these individuals, all moving towards and realizing common vision, we would not be here today. The Barack Obama Presidential Center will be unlike any that has come before it. It will be the first truly urban presidential library located in the heart of a great global city, simultaneously deeply connected to and engaged with the community and with programs of global impact. It will be readily accessible by public transportation and be a magnet for those from around the world. The idea of a presidential library as a great urban institution is new, and the realization of the Obama Presidential Center will bring this idea to life. We are honored that the University of Chicago will have the opportunity to collaborate with the Obama Presidential Center. I want to emphasize the word collaborate. The proposal to bring the library to the south side received overwhelming support from community members, civic organizations, and elected officials. This opportunity exists only because of the tremendous hard work, engagement, and powerful ideas contributed by so many. I want to first express my gratitude to Mayor Rahm Emanuel. The mayor understood how important this library would be in creating economic opportunity for the South Side and for the entire city of Chicago. He made up his mind to do everything necessary to bring the Obama Presidential Center to the city of Chicago and characteristically brought great determination, focus, and energy to make it happen. The support and efforts of the mayor have been absolutely essential in this project and in so many other things that the university has been able to do in partnership with Southside communities and the city more generally. So thank you, Mayor Emanuel, for your commitment, your leadership, and your partnership. Uh, I would also like to add uh, my own thanks to the number of elected officials who have been here today, who are here today, and the strong support that they have given uh, to this effort in so many ways. Uh, in addition, I want to thank our Community Advisory Board, of which Carol Adams is a member. There are several members of the board here with us today, along with other leaders whose support has been critical to this effort. The Community Advisory Board provided advice, attention, effort, enthusiasm, and ideas and was a catalyst for engaging the entire community of the South Side and the city more generally. All of these efforts did so much to contribute to this proposal. South Side community members, faculty and students from the University of Chicago, cultural institutions, colleges and universities in the Chicago area, and other institutions across the city submitted ideas for programs of impact from local to global, building on the rich history and strong community engagement of the South Side. Many individuals across the university have done important work to put together our proposal. I especially want to acknowledge Susan Scher, Senior Advisor to the President of the University, and Derek Douglas, Vice President for Civic Engagement, who have provided critical leadership for this effort and in building the partnerships that were so important to it. I want to express my great appreciation to Marty Nesbitt and the Barack Obama Foundation for their vision in developing a library and center that will enhance the potential for our young people and that will invest in programs that advance this city and cities around the world. In our collaboration, as we discuss the potential for the Obama Presidential Center on the South Side, Marty Nesbitt's leadership, clarity of vision, and what was required to realize that ambitious vision were absolutely essential in our arriving at this wonderful moment today. Finally, and most of all, I want to thank President and Mrs. Obama. They contributed significantly to the University of Chicago, to the South Side, and to the city of Chicago during their time here. The South Side community and communities across the city feel deeply connected to them. You can see this bond in the words of leaders like historian Timuel Black, who has spoken so powerfully about the historic meaning of this presidential center for Chicago and for the nation. The Obama Presidential Center will be a place of possibility. Today, of course, is just the beginning. There is much work ahead, but with the continued help and support of everyone in this room and many other partners, 
the foundation will build a presidential center that realizes these possibilities. And with that, it's now my pleasure to turn the microphone over to Carol Adams. Good afternoon. Well, you know, we started this campaign referencing another Chicago named Sam Cooke when we said, bring it all home to us. So it's only fitting that we round out that circle with a Chicagoan by the name of Joe Williams, assisted by uh, Count Basie when he said, you keep your New York joy. I'm going to Illinois just as fast as I can. <laughs> As a resident of the South Side of Chicago and a cultural historian, I cannot tell you how excited we are to welcome President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama home to Chicago's iconic black metropolis, a community overflowing with assets, yet also in need of the catalytic engine the Obama Presidential Center will surely be. A community whose stellar history includes the great migration and the century of progress. A community that has been the birthplace of a host of major scholars, inventors, business people, and artists. A community that despite its storied past, now suffers the effects of systemic neglect and disinvestment. The bold decision to erect this presidential library in an urban inner city community is transformational and we eagerly await the economic, cultural, and educational development that is sure to follow. Yet this is only part of the story. Of equal significance is the powerful message it sends to our youth. Those future leaders, inventors, teachers, scientists, artists, and yes, presidents, who will emerge in its wake. The members of Museum Campus South also join in welcoming, you, welcoming this center to our ranks and know the library and museum will add considerable value to this already gleaming cultural coast. We all worked hard for this day and remain united in the conviction that Chicago is the only place where the legendary political tra tra trajectory of President Barack Obama could be properly commemorated, for he did indeed get there from here. Mr. President, First Lady, your neighbors past and future look forward to working with you to realize this remarkable achievement and trust that it will represent a continuation of the values for which you have always been known. Economic parity, educational achievement, social and environmental justice, equal opportunity, and the development of our most precious asset, our youth. We know that history is still being made, and certainly more will be made here. We look forward to a season of robust community engagement, joint planning and collaboration for the benefit of the selected neighborhood, the city of Chicago, and visitors from around the globe who will be inspired to build a better world. Thank you for bringing it on home. 